Right, so I love being in front of the camera just as much as I do being behind it. So with this video, I'm gonna show you my six favorite new ideas for self-portraits, or portraits if you're not a model. So yeah, just, just stick around. to another video here at Better Media. My name is Nathan and it's an absolute pleasure to see all of your wonderful faces today. Thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail. So before I get started, I'm just gonna shout out the hashtag that I use over on Instagram. It is BMPix2020. If you do in fact use Instagram, it would mean so much to me if you wouldn't mind using that hashtag. And then yeah, I'll start shouting you guys out on this channel. And speaking of this channel, if you have seen me more than once, twice, three times, four times, and you've not yet subscribed, I think now is a perfect time to do so because you're obviously a fan. So why not be able to get some pings and notifications every time that we post. So guys, hit the subscribe button down below. That way you will stay up to date. So onto this video. I'm also an actor as well as a photographer. Photographer became sort of a second job because I wanted to stay within the media, I wanted to stay within the entertainment industry. So I started to have a go off behind the camera and decided that I've actually quite like this just as much as I do in front of the camera. So quite often than not, I do enjoy doing some self portraits, you know, coming next month, which is obviously next year, I'm going to need to do some more headshots. So instead of actually hiring a headshot photographer, because that's pretty much what I did or do as my bread and butter sort of income, I'm gonna to try to do some myself headshot. So yeah, so in the practice of that, and quite often I've done it a few times on this channel now, I'm gonna do some self portraits. And I had a nice little think about what would look cool, what would stand out, what would be different. So these are my six different type of ideas for self portraits or portraits that you can try if you are in fact a photographer and don't like being in front of the lens. So number one is quite simple. It is simply a harsh light portrait, okay? So the setup is quite easy, very, very simple. You just want your subject in the center of your frame and you want one harsh light on the side of it, just like that, shining through. So you've got one side of the face in complete and utter light and one side of the face in shadow. Nice and easy, there's no technical details to this and obviously when you put it into Lightroom or whatever you use, I use Lightroom, you can just sort of play around with the shadows and the highlights and try to bring it a nice little balance and with this particular portrait I did use a, a, a brush to sort of define the shadows on the right side, right side of the face. So that's it, nice and simple for that one and the end product looks pretty good, I'm quite pleased with it, I think it's come out really really well. Still going on the same type of film, a reasonably quite simple. I've done this one with the nice little light frames around the head. Again, setup is quite simple. Again, I've put my subject, obviously myself, in the center of the frame, and I've dangled one of my little lights from my what I hang my backdrop on, and I just sort of spun it around my head. Camera settings I had on a five second shutter speed. I think ISO was down to 100, and I think my f-stop was f5 to f8, maybe, depending on the actual photograph that I ended up with. And again, the results have come out quite nice. So the overall editing, again, was in Lightroom, didn't really do much anything else, and just sort of play with the contrast and the uh, sort of the basic settings, and went a little bit further down, just to sort of tweak the um, sharpness and anything like that, to make a nice little dream type sci-fi little bit of a look. The next one is of uh, just leaves. It's autumn, it's coming close to winter. There are thousands of billions of leaves on the floor. So let's use that to our advantage. So with this one, quite simply, the setup was me just throwing a bunch of leaves on the floor, having to lie down, put the camera onto a sort of remote trigger from my phone, which I've showed you a few times how to do, and just sort of laid there and struck some poses. Now with the edit itself, a little bit more difficult because with the camera looking down from the tripod, because I was taking photographs of myself, you can see the legs 
of the tripod. So I put it into Photoshop first, and then I just simply clone stamped out the legs of my tripod, and then I sort of clone stamped the surrounding areas. Then I took that photograph into Lightroom, and then I did my main edits, which again, has come out really, really well. And because we're going into autumn, into winter, I did the same with snow. This one, the setup's a little bit different, but the end product looks pretty much the same. I bought some fake snow spray from my local pound shop and then decided to try to spray paint the uh, this little sort of bit of wood that I have in my shed. It turns out after about four or five seconds, it didn't quite work. So this is the second spray can of snow that I bought from this shop and it's literally died after a while. And after dealing with it in a mature, grown-up manner, yep, it turns out that the flip side of that particular board was in fact white. So, brilliant. Went back to the pound shop and bought some fake snow rather than spray snow. And then again, set the whole thing up onto the floor, all over me, and then took the photograph. And this edit, pretty much the same as the leaves. Had to edit out the legs of the tripod in Photoshop, which I used a clone stamp for, and then I pull it over into Lightroom and I did the main type of edits. So the next one was a nice easy portrait of me holding a paintbrush to my face and having the color being painted onto it. And again, this was quite a nice and easy little setup. I put myself center of the frame and I just held a paintbrush up to my face. And then I took that photograph and I put it into Photoshop. I copied the photo and had it on top of each other and I made the top layer black and white, the bottom layer colored, and then I just basically used a soft brush with my paintbrush tool, make sure that it was black and white respectively, and I started painting out parts of my face where I wanted it to be color. It didn't look too good, so again, I exported that into Lightroom, and that's when I played around with the colors, try to bring up the skin tone, and try to bring down the black and white. And again, this is probably one of my favorite ones of the entire shot, because I like the contrast between the black and white and color, and you get the sort of the concept that he's painting on his color, which is quite nice. I quite, quite enjoyed that one. And finally, this one, it looks brilliant, and the setup is a little bit more, oh, difficult and fiddly to do because it was in fact two photographs instead of just the one. So firstly, I set up a myself in the middle with some newspapers around the back and I took a nice little pose with that into camera with my mask on. And then I went outside and then I set up a bit of newspaper in between two of my lighting poles, set fire to the middle. I then took these two photographs, overlapped them, made them the frame that I needed, or that I desired, and I just simply painted out the center of the fire hole and put myself behind it, adjusted the size, and it's come out again pretty, pretty nice. This was probably the most fiddly one that I had to do. Uh, it probably took me the longer to edit to make sure it looks half decent. And again, I think it's, it's turned out really, really well. And that's it, that's all of the photos. I don't know why I'm looking over here because technically I'm pretending that I'm staring at the photos, but obviously I'm staring at nothing. You, I'm gonna now have to edit them in here, aren't I really? Because otherwise this part of the video is gonna look really, really silly. But there they are, This, these are the photographs. So I hope you liked them, I hope you enjoyed them. They're gonna be all up onto my Instagram, so guys, head over to at Better Media over on Instagram and come and say hello, give them a like, give them a comment, give us a follow. But apart from that, guys, that is it. This is it, done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can use some of these ideas and send them over onto Instagram yourself, but don't forget to use the hashtag BMPix2020. I will look forward to seeing your work. But until next time, guys, thank you so much. I've been Nathan, you've been sensational. Goodbye. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah.